at a house concert, you're really in the room with your audience. I mean, you can reach out and touch, you know, the front row. It's very intimate, and um, audience members have direct access to the artists, which is really cool. You know, lucky me, I just ran into David um, while I was playing at a local, actually, Cheese Teak. It's a, a local restaurant that features music every once in a while. And um, David, you know, gave me his card and said, oh, I want to follow up with you about an idea. And um, it's, the house concert world is something that I've been looking for, uh, getting into for a long time. It's, a, it's an ancient way of doing music. Yeah. If you know musicians, getting together at somebody's house, somebody's parlor, you know, somebody's garage. It's since the dawn of time that's the way music has really been done. So when we invite people in, we ask them to give a donation, but all of that goes to the artists, uh, every single penny. Well, it's like a big venue in the sense that it's quiet. I mean, it's a listening experience. Um, but it's unlike a club in that people, that it's quiet. Uh, clubs are, everyone's talking and drinking. So there's the informality of being able to sort of socialize with people uh, in between breaks and you know, have a drink or, or, or whatever. But um, um, so it's a very relaxed setting. And, um, and then the, you're just, you know, a few feet away from the artist. So there's really no barrier there between you and the artist the way there may be on a big stage. I think we'll always do house concerts because they keep you honest. You know, if you're just in a rarefied atmosphere of green rooms and luxurious sound checks and, you know, no one can have access to you and all this kind of stuff, I think you can get a little um, disconnected. So. Uh, it's wonderful to play a big theater in the pack room and then the very next night to go into someone's living room and just to keep it real. In the basement there's three stone walls because this is a stone house um, and we put in tile floors. It's a small ceiling um, or a low ceiling but it's it, acoustically it's very nice. We've had uh, groups that are in there without any amplification whatsoever but I do have a PA system and, and that can also be used uh, uh, and we do use it frequently. So I think the space itself, it's also kind of a, a mobile space because that the, the, the basement is also where there's a guest room and a bathroom. The guest room becomes the green room for the artist and the, and the artist can stay there as well. And, and there's a couch and chairs, but we sort of move everything aside, put in um, folding chairs, and it almost looks like a little concert hall. The artists themselves feel like they're um, connecting with people at a different level. Um, there's a lot more banter and talking and even talking with the audience. You, you know, and you go to a show and you just hear song after song after song after song, and maybe you get you know, a few words in between. But here, it's as much as about getting to know the people, uh, of who they are, why they write their music, where the songs come from, as it is about listening to the music. So you really, it's a much more holistic kind of musical experience. Um, you really come away feeling like you, you know, this artist is your new best friend, and they happen to be a great musician.